I'm going to load in Polly. Unlike the bass synth, this is a polyphonic synth and is great for playing chord parts. Okay, so let's check out the oscillator section. You get two wave shapes here, a saw and a pulse. You also get a sub oscillator, which is fixed as a square shape. It can be an octave or two octaves below the main oscillator. I prefer leaving it at minus one. Let's hear all three together. The pulse width for the pulse shape can be changed here. You can bring in some cross modulation where one oscillator frequency modulates the other. Just a little cross modulation amount sounds like subtle detuning. Thickens up the sound a bit. Next you have ring modulation. The frequency of the oscillator the sound is ring modulated with can be set here. This can be key tracked as well. Key tracking can go up to 200%. Sounds very stable at that value. Lastly, you also get a noise generator. Always nice to layer in some noise with your main oscillators. It adds to the richness of the sound. Next is the filter section with a high pass filter here. Pretty straightforward. The low pass filter with resonance. It can be modulated with an envelope here, so that's the amount. Very similar to the bass synth. This too should sound interesting with the MIDI arpeggiator. Let's try that. I'll also set it to chord mode. Very dead mouse like. Fun stuff. Now here you have key tracking for the cutoff. This too goes up to 200%. You can add velocity sensitivity to the filter cutoff.
You can even control the cutoff via aftertouch. Now this will only work if your MIDI controller can send aftertouch messages. Okay, next we'll check out the modulation section. <laughs> 